So a good structure is only as good as its foundation. So in this video we're going to show you how to create foundations in CAD work structure. So in a previous video I was able to show you how to create a basic structure. In this case a pipe rack. Uh, the pipe rack is really good except for there's nothing that it's sitting on. It's just kind of floating up in air. So we're going to show you how to create a foundation for your uh, columns. Okay, so inside of CAD work structure, uh, what you need to do is there is a foundations tabs. So in previous versions, you basically had to do a 2D or a AutoCAD solid shape had really no intelligence and you couldn't really change it unless, you know, you just kind of stretched it. I know a lot of people would just start out with a shape and then extrude it and make it a uh, 3D solid. In CAD work structure, they have added foundations in there. And so once you place it, then you can change the parameters or even change the parameters before you place it. So let's get into that. So if you go to foundations, again, it brings up uh, a uh, toolbar off to the side. And you've got a couple of different uh, options. First, you got templates. So if you already have templates built and you know what you want, then you can go ahead and just select from those templates. Uh, you also got just a peer, a peer and slab, slab, and then a pile system. So it'll put the footings down into the ground for you. We're going to work on the pile, uh, or peer and slab one. Uh, under the general, you can start it. You can do with or without grout. That's the first selection. Whatever the rotation is. So if you don't like it, it will turn it uh, one way. Uh, what group foundations? Uh, again, you choose which one you want. Uh, we're going to do foundations. What's the material? Uh, you've got all these default ones from CADWorks uh, that you can choose from. Next one is grout. So you can choose your grout, rectangular, circle, uh, octagonal, um, oh, and then what your length, uh, what your width is, uh, what your thickness, how thick it is, um, your column extents, you know, how far is it going to go, uh, again, what material, and then what layer, grout. Uh, then you can come down to your pier and choose, you know, again, rectangle, you know, what your length is, what your width is, the height, how tall it's going to be, and then, you know, what's, uh, what is it, pile system. So you can come down here and say, okay, I want this to be a pier. And then we come back down to the slab, same thing, uh, your length, your width, your thickness. Um, your offset, if you need it offset one way or the other, your X and Y, and then uh, your layer again. Uh, we're going to do slab. So that way we have all these set up. Your final selection is points uh, or place by. So points uh, or you select your columns. So on this one we're going to show you points and I'll show you the select columns later. So we're going to hit uh, insert and we're going to actually before we do that let's go ahead and just change this to 2D wireframe and we're going to go to our insert and we're going to hit the center line of our beam or our column and you can see that it has created our uh, uh, slab. Now I can come over here and I'm still in the command. I haven't got out. Again, select that point and it will bring in that one. Now let's say we want to change some of this. Let's go ahead and change this to shaded. It'll come out a little bit better. Okay, so we've got, you can see that if you hover over one of the parts it will highlight just that part. Um, so here's our slab, here's our pier, and here's our grout. 
Um, so let's go ahead and grab both these. Double click on it. This will bring us into our uh, modifications. Uh, so we can go in here and change our uh, foundation. Again, uh, let's say we want to make our pier uh, a little wider. So let's say we want to do uh, 18 inches. Okay, hit tab and then hit apply and you can see that it has made our um, our pier larger now it kept the grout the same size so we have to go in there and change this for our grout also so we go grout we want off uh, one one you know offset a little bit so instead of 18 we're gonna go 17 oh 17 hit apply and you can see that it's made our grout with our chamfer off to the side so we have our foundation right here uh, say we really like this and we want to save this as a template so we can use it later so we go save what's the name of this template we'll call it CC foundation and we hit okay then we go to close so now we're out of that menu now if we want to reuse that one again we can go to our templates there's our CC foundation and you can see that it's changed all this information that we did before from the default to what our um, new foundation template is. Now this time we're going to select our column. So we're going to hit insert and this one and this one. So once you have it set then you can save it and reuse it over and over and over and over again. One other thing, since we set these up as individual uh, layers, if you come into your AutoCAD layer manager here, you can see that we have grout, we have pier, we have a slab. We can change the layer for all these. So let's say we wanted to demonstrate our grout as yellow. Now all our grout's yellow. It just kind of makes it stand out a little bit. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about placing foundations inside a CAD work structure. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you guys would like to see uh, or for me to cover, please let me know. And I'll try to get it on in a later video.